Going over the Weeble Dividend Stock Portfolio, let's look at the current portfolio value first. I am at market value $1,589.69. I have a unrealized profit of $60.96 for a gain of 3.80%. As you can see, I currently have a buying power of $74.34. And for those of you who are not familiar with the Weeble dividend portfolio, what I do in this portfolio is every single week, starting in 2020, I have been adding $100 to this portfolio. However, I started investing in this portfolio back in July. I did start out investing $100 a week, but I was not as consistent previously. However, since the start of 2020, I have been consistently adding $100 to this portfolio. And if you have not watched my 2020 goal video, I will leave a card above, but it is my goal to add at least $5,000 in new money to this portfolio in 2020. And my investing goals is to grow the dividend payout in this portfolio. And how I have been doing that is by making sure I am consistently depositing money into this account. Also, some of the stocks that I owned that I had small positions in, I have recently been taking those gains and reinvesting them back into the portfolio and that is what I am going to go over with you guys today. So we're going to look at the first position that I sold shares from is Leggett and Platt. Um, as you can see here I bought four shares back in August at $38.59, then the second time at $36.59. So if you look back at some of my previous videos, and I will share a card above with a playlist of this portfolio from start up until now of the stocks that I've been investing in, you will see that I've been up quite a bit on Legged and Platt. The reason that I sold three shares was to utilize those gains, to take those gains and utilize them in the portfolio for a better return. Since I only had a small position of four shares of Legged and Platt, I wanted to start to build up each position in the portfolio. So I did keep one share because I am going to build up my position of Legged and Platt. But since they just went ex-dividend and they have a few months before the next ex-dividend date, that gives me time to build up this position before it goes ex-dividend again. So I did take profit on three shares. As you can see, I sold them for around $49, which is about $13 per share of profit. And then I did reinvest that money back into the portfolio, which I will go over in a minute. Oh, Abby, after its record date on 116, they just went ex dividend last week. I only owned one share. However, I do have a position going in my SoFi Invest portfolio. And you guys can also see updates on that in the playlist that I left in the card previously. However, because I only had one share in my Weeble dividend portfolio, I went ahead and took the profits. My average cost was around $66. As you can see, I sold it for $89.80 for the one share, and I did collect the dividend even though I haven't been paid on it yet of course but I did 
hold it until its recent ex-dividend date last week in order to pick up that dividend. But I did take the profits on this one share of AbbVie in order to reinvest those gains back in the portfolio and build up some of my other positions that were on sale this week. Now that we've reviewed the sales that I made into the portfolio, let's see the updates that I've made into the portfolio after I sold off those positions and collected those gains. We'll start with PBCT, People's United Bank. Now, they just recently came out with their earnings. They did meet their earnings. They do have an ex-dividend date coming up on 131-2020. As you can see, they're paying 0.1775 per share. And the good thing about this company is they did um, make earnings. Um, as you can see here, they're currently trading at around 1605 so I am going to be building up my position in this stock again because I did sell out of my shares of PBCT um, a couple videos ago however they're set at an average cost of about 1745 this stock does fluctuate um, a lot but it is a dividend aristocrat and it pays a good dividend as you can see they just had their fourth quarter earnings. They did beat their fourth quarter earnings, but it does say that some of the analysts downgraded this stock. I really didn't go over the information, but it's one of the first stocks that I bought in this Weeble portfolio. Um, as you can see here, I had a lot of shares. Um, when I first bought in, I bought in to start collecting dividends and get some income coming into this portfolio. I did sell out of these shares when the stock price went up, but I did keep one share and now I am going to go ahead and start back building my position as the price stays below $16. I will buy shares and I plan to buy more shares before it goes ex-dividend. One of the most talked about stocks right now in the dividend community is MSM. Currently, I have three shares. The price has been going up this week because you all know that the stock markets are closed on Monday in um, observance of Martin Luther King Day. And this stock goes ex-dividend on Tuesday. And they are paying a special dividend this month of $5 on top of their normal dividend of $0.75. Cents. So a lot of people have been buying this company in order to receive that special dividend of five dollars um, if you guys are not familiar with this company let's just look at what they do so as you can see here it is an industrial direct company in North America it's a North American distributor of metalworking and maintenance repair and operation products and services so that's just a little bit of information. Um, Weeble does give you information on the companies that you can review. And another good thing about Weeble that I don't think I went over with you guys, it, it shows you, you know, what ETFs a company is found in. And also on Weeble, you can look at a lot of their financial information. As you can see, you can look at their earnings. You can look at their key indicators. You can look at earnings forecasts. You can look at income statements, revenue, operating income. You can look at the balance sheet. You can look at cash flow, operating, investing, and financing. You can also look at how they compare to their peers in their same sector. So again, for those of you who are not familiar with Weeble, Weeble offers a lot of information right on their website. And don't forget, in the description below, I do have a link so that you can get two free stocks from Weeble. They are running an awesome promotion right now where you can receive two free stocks by opening an account and depositing any dollar amount. Now, going back over to the portfolio, I have also been buying shares of Meredith. 
because they have been on a dip right now. So some of the shares that I sold and the money that I've been putting into the portfolio, I have also been buying shares of Meredith. So I only had one, two, two shares back in November that I bought. But as you can see, for the past week, I've bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shares, bringing my average cost down to uh, $32.23. It is currently trading at $31.27. So I do plan to get this position up to 10 shares also while it is on a dip. Now, next, this stock ISBC is um, some free stock that I got from you guys using my referral link. Um, I do plan on selling these shares of free stocks. I did already sell one share of IBC. I also sold one share of Snapchat that I got as a referral stock. And I'm not really familiar with this company, but what we can do is we can go down here and we can look at what this company does. So it's Investors Bank Court Inc. It is a holdings company for Investors Bank, the bank. The bank is a New Jersey chartered savings bank. The bank is in the business of attracting deposits from the public through its branch network and borrowing funds in the wholesale markets to originate loans and to invest in securities. And again, you guys can read more on this company, but these are the free stocks that I got from you guys using my referral link. So thank you so much to those who use my referral link. And if you did use my referral link and you want to leave in the description below what free stocks you got. Um, another stock that I've been buying this week is Ben Franklin Resources. And Rick, he did a excellent review on Ben Franklin Resource. And I will leave a link in the description above. He is another YouTube creator. I will leave a link or a car above so that you guys can go check out that video. It's a really good review that he left and you guys definitely should go check it out. So I'm gonna leave a card above for you to check out the review on Ben Franklin. But Ben Franklin has been down also. As you can see, I been buying shares lately of Ben Franklin, taking advantage of the dip. This is a stock that I've had in my portfolio since I started the portfolio. As you can see, I've owned it since August, but I've been really beefing up this position since it's been down. And they are another dividend aristocrat. Um, AT&T, I own eight shares. My market value is $307.04. My average cost is $37.44. I am only up $7.46 or 2.49%. Um, Leggett and Platt, you guys already know I only have one share right now. I am still up $13.43 or a 35.56% gain. Also, HP, I own four shares. I am at a market value of $180.52. I currently have an average price of $38.27. And it is currently trading at $45.13. So I am up $27.43 or 17.92%. Archer Daniels, I only own three shares. My average cost is $37.23. And I am up $25.95 or 23.23%. And last but not least is Walgreens. Um, this is probably going to be one of the next positions that I build up because my average cost is $51.70. It is currently trading at $54.39. So it is very close to my average cost. So I will probably start building up this position next as well. Um, it should be coming up on X dividend date soon. We can look here on Weeble. It pays a 0.4575 cents per share. Um, let's look at the dividend history. It should be going ex-dividend here in February soon. And as you can see, they just recently had a dividend increase back in July from $0.44. Cents. And again, that's one of the awesome things that I like about Webull because you don't have to go to a different website 
to see what the dividend history of a stock is. You can see it right here on Weeble. So that is going to be the next position that I build up is my position in Walgreens. And it's pretty much been trading around $54 here. So I want to go ahead and build it up while it is close to my average cost of $51.